Santa Barbara City College is helping students apply for financial aid as the application deadline approaches. News Channel reporter Mina Wahab shows us why it's so important to do this this year. Megan Ortega had a difficult transition from high school to Santa Barbara City College, a transition that almost led her to dropping out of school. I was struggling um, as I came um, as a student and um, it was a difficult time, you know, being straight out of high school. Not a lot of my friends came here. Ortega says getting financial aid is what kept her going, not having the worries of mounting student debt holding her back. Financial aid was a big uh, or the main reason why I stayed because students think of that money and it's motivation, right? They're, they're paying you to go to school and it's just unreal to think about that. Like I could be a part time employee and actually, um, you know, focus and be a full time student while getting support from financial aid. It honestly helped out a lot. A couple of years later, Ortega is working full time at her alma mater, helping other students navigate the financial aid application process at Santa Barbara City College's Financial Aid Fest. Many students needed help submitting the new and condensed FAFSA <laughs> application. Other students sought help submitting the DREAM Act application. There hasn't been a major change to the FAFSA since the 90s, so people who've been filling them out for the, for the kids for a long time will encounter something brand new. Whereas the FAFSA provides federal aid to U.S. citizens, the DREAM Act provides state-funded aid to undocumented students. Both forms of funding ensure higher education is equitable, regardless of financial or legal status. Anytime you're dealing with tax information or any federal documents, it can be just a scary application. And um, if you don't know the lingo with the financial aid, then it can be a little daunting for sure. The deadline to submit the FAFSA is March 2nd, and the DREAM Act application is due April 2nd. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.